Nigeria government through the Office of the Inspector General of Police, IGP has alleged that one British national, Andrew Wingman, attempt to overthrow President Bola Ahmed Tinubu following the investigation of some senior staff of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC. The Nigeria Police Force on Monday declared the British national identified as Andrew Wynne aka Andrew Povich or Drew Povey, wanted for allegedly plotting to overthrow the President Bola Tinubu-led government. The first public relations officer, ACP Muiwa Adejabi, in a statement said, Following extensive intelligence gathering and collaboration with other security agencies, nine suspects have been apprehended who received substantial financial backing from foreign sources to destabilize the country. Preliminary findings suggest the orchestrated and funded violent protests, disseminated false information, and engaged in other unlawful activities to create anarchy and justify their illegal plot to overthrow the democratically elected government. Investigations have identified a foreign mercenary, Andrew Wynne, also known as Andrew Povich or Drew Povey, a British national, who built a network of sleeper cells to topple the government and plunge the nation into chaos. He rented a space at Labour House, Abuja, for an Ivor Valley bookshop, and established Stars of Nation schools as a cover for his subversive activities. Documentary evidence and confessions revealed that Andrew Wynne issued directives, monitored progress, and provided finance and operational guidance to achieve unconstitutional regime change in Nigeria. He mobilized and deployed several billions of naira to his Nigerian collaborators, urging them to mobilize the public to violently storm police facilities and military barracks, anticipating a bloodbath that would instigate international condemnation of the Nigerian government. The police also said the investigation of the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC has revealed the level of involvement of the foreigner as the NLC did not even know the real identity of the person also alleged to be as a foreign mercenary occupying their building. First Public Relations Officer, ACP Olumuywa Adejabi, while briefing journalists in Abuja on Monday, said Andrew built a network of sleeper cells to topple the government and plunge the nation into chaos. Similarly, the police declared Lucky Ihis Obion, who is alleged to be a local coordinator for Andrew, wanted, adding that global hunting for them has commenced in connection with the investigation. According to him, documentary evidence and confessions revealed that Andrew Wynne issued directives, monitored progress, and provided finance and operational guidance to achieve unconstitutional regime change in Nigeria. Since the commencement of investigations, Andrew Wynne has fled the country. He and one of his local coordinators, one lucky Ihis Omion, have accordingly been declared wanted and global hunting for them has commenced in connection with this investigation. Regime change and orchestrated violence in Nigeria. The Nigeria Police Force has launched a comprehensive mission into the activities of the foreign foreign national and subversive elements plotting to undermine the democratically elected government in Nigeria through unconstitutional regime change. Following extensive intelligence gathering and collaboration with other security agencies, ten suspects have been apprehended who received substantial financial back from foreign sources to destabilize the country. Preliminary findings suggest the orchestrated and funded violent protests. Disseminated false information and engaged in other unlawful activities to create anarchy and justify the illegal plots to overthrow the democratically elected government. Investigations have identified a foreign mercenary and Rwain, also known as Andrew Pogic or Jew.
of vain. The man has many identities. A British national who built a network of sleep ourselves to talk to the government and plunge the nation into chaos. He rented his place at the neighbor house in Abuja for an Ivor Bali and established stars of nation schools as a cover for his subversive activities. Documentary evidence and confessions reveal that and when issued directives, monitored progress, and provided finance and operational guidance to achieve all constitutional regime change in Nigeria. He mobilized and deployed several billions of Naira to his Nigerian collaborators, urging them to mobilize the public to violently storm police facilities and military barracks, anticipating a bloodbath that would instigate international condemnation of the Nigerian government. These acts are in clear violation of the Terrorism Prevention Act of 2011 and other relevant laws of this country. Since the commencement of investigations and when has fled the country, he and one of his local coordinators, one lucky in his opinion, have accordingly been declared wanted and global hunting for them has commenced in connection with this investigation. Ten other suspects already apprehended have been arraigned before a constant court of law today, Monday, September 2, 2024, for criminal conspiracy, terrorism financing, justice, felony, subversion, and cybercrime. These suspects include Angel Law Innocent Female of Palua. Eleo John Simon, male, Michael Tobilova Ajaramui, A.K. Lenny, male, Suleiman Yakubu, male, Wari Lawa, male, Mosiu Sadi, male, Abayomi Adeyemi, male, Abdusalam Zubairu, male, Nuradi Amis, male, Abashir, male. This acts like I said earlier on, are in clear violation of the Terrorism Prevention Act of 2011 and other relevant laws of this country. Meanwhile, the Inspector General of Police of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, IGP Kaudi, and the Ulegato from PAD, NPM, while condemning the activities of the group, has since activated the Interpol tools and other global policing networks to support ongoing domestic investigations aimed at locating and apprehending the suspects at large. The IGP assures the general public that the force will leave no stone on top in dealing with and bringing to, to the sub justice. Any individual or group threatening our national security and peace or promoting any movement with the motive of truncating our democratic government through our constitutional means. We recognize and remain committed to protecting citizens constitutional guaranteed fundamental and democratic rights to peaceful assembly and free expression. However, we advise citizens to be wary of subversive elements who weaponize a commercialized protest for personal, financial, and ideological benefits. Contrary to disinformation, the invitation has extended to certain individuals within the general level of Congress leadership has nothing to do with rights advocacy and activities of the union leadership for its aim at clearing the relationship between the individuals and Andrew Wayne, who, in addition to plotting a constitutional regime change, is also financing terrorism in Nigeria.
Following the interaction between the police investigation team and the NRC president, there is now a clearer understanding of the focus of the ongoing police investigation and the depth of and wines, wines of passive network and activities. No nation will tolerate attempts by foreign elements to interfere in its inter internal affairs, threaten national security, and organize and fund local elements to instigate uprisings aimed at destabilizing the country and engendering violent and unconstitutional regime change. The Inspector General of Police appeals for the cooperation and support of all law-abiding citizens in the ongoing investigation. He assures anyone with information leading to the arrest of any of the suspects declared wanted will be appreciated and rewarded as some long live the federal republic of Nigeria. Sazuwa Kong Nebe, bringing you the news in a more digital way.